We would like to acknowledge the Yuggera people and the Turrbal people as the traditional custodians of Mianjin, the lands in which we record this podcast today. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Welcome to For the Health of It podcast, a healthcare Australia podcast brought to you by Nurse on the Inside. I am Zana. And I'm Jessica. (laughs) And we have a special guest today. Um, It's actually an agency nurse who's been with HCA for a very, very long time. Very long time. Um, We would like to introduce Klaus. So welcome and thanks for joining us today. Hello, good morning. Thank you for having me here today. (laughs) We're so excited. A little backstory about Klaus is I've actually worked with him in Brisbane. We met about, oh, I think about six to nine months ago. Yes, I think it was in Germside Hospital. Yes. Yep. And we just became best buddies straight away because that's just what Team Purple do. You Mm. see someone else in a HCA uniform and you just, I don't know, just have this intense friendship straight away and we've Definitely. been best buds ever since and I adore you so much. <laughs> okay, now, you've been an inspiration as well, telling me your story, uh, how you came here and... Uh, What's oh. been happening in your HCA life? No, oh, yeah. we definitely bond a lot about loving the agency mm-hmm. lifestyle. Yeah. So I would, I think, would love to just dive straight into like, how Your did story. you start this agency lifestyle? Because twelve years with Healthcare Australia is pretty impressive. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I started twelve years ago uh, here in Brisbane with HCA, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, lovely Joe recruited me back then, oh. and I thought after. Um, a stint at the Mata Hospital as a permanent staff member. I wanted to see what else is out there uh, and uh, joined the agency and never looked back, really. Uh, yeah. So I've been with them on and off uh, the last 12 years. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. And I love that you said, like, on and off, because, like, obviously mm. you love travelling overseas. Because where is your background? Where did you grow up? Was yes, it I'm, I'm from Germany. I was yes. born in Germany. Uh, Basically lived in Switzerland for a while, working in a ski resort, and then 27 years ago moved to Australia. Yeah, and then obviously you love doing some overseas trips, and how nice is it not having to apply for annual leave? Mm. Yes, yeah, exactly, <laughs> and that's been my main motivator in the last 10 years. I yep. uh, always had kind of a casual or part-time uh, job on the side, but mm-hmm. uh, most most of the time never gave up HCA entirely. Yeah, yeah. Officially Team Purple all the yeah. way this guy. I love it. So tell us like where you've been. Where, what kind of journey has HCA taken you on? What is the yes, most amazing I, place I mean, you've been I to? I did my nursing degree in Perth and uh, worked a while in Perth and uh, did work in Adelaide, in Canberra, in Melbourne, Brisbane, Gold Coast. So I'm more the metropolitan kind of agency nurse. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I did enjoy it. Uh, turning up in a new city, like my wife, she's a nurse too. Mm-hmm. And uh, for example, she got a permanent job somewhere else. And it was much more easy to organize our lives uh, around her. And I just took on agency shifts and uh, so good. worked my roster around hers. Oh, I love that so much. That's mm. so many like amazing cities. And it's such a great way to explore Australia as well. Definitely. Like, I have never worked in like Melbourne and Sydney and all that stuff. But like it's so possible if you're with this company that mm. you can actually relocate and just so easily get, get a job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So great. I think a lot of people ask about accommodation, especially for these metro contracts. It's not as easy, I guess, to get accommodation. And accommodation is not necessarily always supplied by the agency. So how do you navigate that moving around yes, so much? Uh, accommodation used to be not such a major issue. Mm-hmm. Of course, mm-hmm. all that has changed nowadays. But uh, because we're a couple, professional couple, we normally never had trouble finding a suitable rental property in either mm-hmm. of these capital yeah. cities. Uh, it's getting harder at the moment, but uh, it doesn't have to be forever like that. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and you so, also get like the short term rentals, hey? So you just go, let's go live here. Like in Brisbane, when I first met you, you guys yes, were just doing a short term yeah. rental, like three months at a time. Or, or even six months you can get. Yeah, yeah. so mm. good. I just found it so inspiring because when I met Klaus and he was like, yep, like we just do short term rentals and then I just like work and then yeah. we go on holidays and then I come back. And yes. it's just like such a cool lifestyle yeah, to be able really to design is. everything and like the weekly pay, which is. Pretty amazing. Yes, I yeah. love a good weekly pay. And uh, I think that's one of the greatest factors of people. People uh, want security and mm-hmm. fear is our biggest inhibitor. But uh, yes. once you get used to agency work, there's a lot of money to be made in a short period if you're keen. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you just have to plan a little bit ahead. And uh, mm. there's always work to come back to. So Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 
Actually, Absolutely. can we talk about your first shift? Because I yeah. think obviously, you're, I mean, you're a professional now because 12 years of agency. Yeah, you can just walk in, You can just walk <laughs> into any hospital and be fine. But what about <laughs> that very first shift? You've taken your first shift as agency and you rocked up. Like, go through those emotions with us. Yes, yeah. Uh, my first shift was an anaesthetic shift at, well, I mean, I can't say names yet, Sunny Bank <laughs> Hospital, a yep. very chaotic shift. Mm-hmm. Didn't know where things are. I had a quite a an edgy and easy taste and had to organize a few things in a short time and uh was very challenging and yeah. uh, i met this very senior nurse in the storeroom helping me out no and she said you're doing the right thing uh agency nursing will make you much stronger and a better nurse you, you mm-hmm. will be a lot more resilient a lot more flexible mm-hmm. adapt to situations and yeah. uh looking back after a few stressful shifts she yeah. was right yeah, yeah you really do grow as a nurse yeah. in those situations hey yeah. obviously you've got that like the internal fear, and you're like, oh, I'm not doing good enough, I don't know where things are, but of course you don't know where things are, it's your first shift. Yeah. 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 And it's just like a normal wave of emotions. Definitely. Wow, look at you now, you're such a <laughs> Yeah, I think the beauty is you you can stay out of the internal politics of a big company, uh, mm-hmm. like a big hospital, you can split it up, work two shifts in one facility and two in another to, to mix yeah. it up a bit, and uh I find it, it's a great way not to get too involved. Yes. Uh, do a good shift, deliver good work and go home. Yeah. And Just do what you need to do. Peace. Yeah. 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 I think a lot of people as well reach out to us and they say that um, like they're, they're worried they're not going to make friends, for example. So say yeah. you're moving to yeah. a new town, you're doing agency because you're moving in so many different areas. Mm. They're worried that they're not going to make a friendship group. I feel like being agency – I make so many more friends because obviously I'm going to different facilities. I'm meeting other Team Purple nurses yep. and ha- yep. like Healthcare Australia and and I personally make so much more friendships. What about yourself? Have you found it's quite easy to like meet nice people going to different hospitals? Yes, and uh, I think it's definitely one of the pros because you're exposed to so many more people in different facilities mm-hmm. compared to you just one group at your permanent workplace. Yeah. Mm. And the like, best example was yesterday I arrived at Greenslopes Hospital and uh, about 10 people said hello to me and I had to think twice, who are they really? <laughs> uh, yes, of course, they're my colleagues from various agency shifts in yeah. various places and uh, it is such a good vibe. Yeah. And, uh, what I realized as well is uh, a good group of agency nurses uh, can change the vibe in a whole unit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, because we treat each other as good colleagues, near f- or nearly friends. Yeah. Help out, and uh, it brings a lot of positivity to the place. It really does. Yeah. 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 I totally agree. And it definitely makes a difference when the hospital or the you know the unit that you're in like embraces the agency staff being there because a lot of a lot of units that you know treat agency staff like you're just to fill in and you're not like you're not really there to kind of do much but when the unit kind of brings you in and joins you in that and you all kind of become like one family rather than like you know agency and then the people that work there mm-hmm. yes. the environment yeah. and the yeah the facility changes so much yeah. the experience changes so Absolutely. much Absolutely, yeah. I definitely feel when I go to a place and it's like my first shift doing a, like the metro style nursing like they don't know who you are mm-hmm. and so sometimes you can't take it a bit personally but you kind of if you go to your shift and you introduce yourself to the team leader and be like hi like my name's Jessica um it's my first shift here like I don't know where anything is but you know just give it your best job and actually just like ask questions because they don't know what y- you know like mm-hmm. and if you don't know something like they're not going to know that yes and that's exactly a good point I think as an agency nurse you need to be to some degree a good communicator yes definitely uh, yeah. if you don't ask questions it will be very hard but yeah. if you're open don't overestimate what you know on your yes. first few shifts because you've got to adapt to some degree to their policies how definitely. they handle things yeah. and uh, then ease into it and you know, gradually become more competent, Yeah, do bigger cases and uh, people will trust you. And uh, it happens all the time. I go to certain facilities. I'm like an old longstanding team member. Yeah. Yeah. You sure are, honestly. Yeah. You are. You've got such a beautiful reputation yeah. in the agency world. Like when I first met you, I was like, this guy, love this guy. <laughs> and then, you know, I go to another facility and I'll mention your name. They're like, Klaus. Like, yeah. You know, and, oh. and it gives gives us agency a good name as well when mm-hmm. we're like nice hard workers as well. Oh, yes, yeah. And uh, you, I mean, you, of course you want to return even after a longer break. It's nice yeah. if you say I'm back and people are happy about it. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about some more of the pros about being agency. Because yes. like there's not that many cons. I feel like there's not that <laughs> really many cons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The cons, we'll just talk straight away. Obviously you can get a shift cancelled. Yeah. 
Yeah. Big deal, right? Yeah. You have like up to an hour before the shift, which can be a little bit sucky if it does happen. But, you know, they try and at least give you four to six hours if possible and then they book you into another shift. So I've personally been really lucky and I've been booked into other shifts. And then if I don't get booked into a shift, I can maybe do one in the afternoon. But it's not something that happens every single time. No. Mm. And And I think uh, it's – we've seen – you know, times where it was harder and times when it is better. At the moment, it's a very good time to be yes, agency nurse. Absolutely. And uh, you've got to, you've got to make sure. You know, maybe you've got a side job on which I have. I do some yeah. part time work on the side, um, but agency has always been a part of my life. Yeah. And uh, you always can fall back and increase or decrease your hours as you like. Yeah. And you don't yeah. have to ask anybody to yeah. decrease your hours. You just and, do it. Uh, because I'm a mad traveller, I, I dread <laughs> the idea of not getting annual leave. So, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's, it's been very easy travelling the world, coming yeah. back, work. Uh, so you, good. You, I always call it, we are unbound. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I love that too. Yeah, that's awesome. So the pros, obviously, you get a higher hourly rate. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, I know you don't get the annual leave and you don't get the sick pay and things like that, but the higher hourly rate, like, it's quite significant to what mm. you get in a normal workplace. And the weekly pay for me is so nice. Like, I love the weekly pay. Yeah. yeah. So much. <laughs> and I know, uh, I know nurses, if they're keen and have the energy to work five days a week, mm-hmm. It yeah. is very good money. Very yeah. good money. If you did five shifts a week, holy moly, you'd yeah. be making a lot yeah. of money. Yeah, I mean, last year, I think I definitely did not work full-time for this last financial year. I took two months off to travel. I also mm-hmm. was living in Brisbane, maybe doing between two to three shifts a week. I definitely yeah. wasn't working full-time. And the salary, not the salary because we don't get a salary, but the amount that I got in the entire year was the same, if not actually still more, than what I was getting as a full-time job in a hospital before. And I wasn't yeah. even working full-time. And I took two, at least two to three months off in the year, which yeah. is crazy. And, so crazy. And saying that, I mean, money is one thing, and uh, I love money. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, and everyone I mean, loves money. Too. But, you know, having a good life and a fulfilled yeah, definitely. life is fantastic. And uh, yeah. agency nursing helps you with it. Yeah. It yeah. And I think everyone has this, like, the grey nomad dream. Everyone wants yeah. to, you know, save all this money through their life and then – do the traveling and do the buy the yeah. caravan and do that at the yeah. end of the end of your life. But like anything can change in your life any at any point at any time yeah. at any age yeah. it can change. So instead of waiting until you're 65 and you've got enough money, like you can do it while doing agency nursing or agency yeah. Yeah. doctoring or agency midwifing, whatever you whatever career you're in, you can do it absolutely. Yeah. And why not yeah. start now? Buy a caravan and do it now. Like you got one life. Yeah, I mean, I did it. I mean, I don't think you guys know. We haven't even yeah. talked about that. But I actually bought myself a cute little caravan. Yeah, and um. It was hard work setting up by myself, but <laughs> I did it by myself and I went through Tasmania, uh, New South Wales, Queensland. Mm-hmm. So I did obviously the rural remote sector as well as Metro. Um, Klaus has just done full-time uh, Metro, which is amazing. But you've been able to like scoot off overseas mm-hmm. for two months. You've just come back from the US, haven't you? Yes, yeah. I came back from LA about 10 days ago. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how casual <laughs> is that? Like, oh yeah, just just came back from LA. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's so good. And I think... Uh, no, so it makes you an interesting person as well if you work agency because yes. I like when I started talking to you, you had a long story where you've been working and uh, every agency nurse has a story to tell. Mm-hmm. Yes. They've been in various locations and uh, it's it's nice to listen to them. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's really inspiring. Hey? Yeah. It gives you that like yeah. passion as well. And it makes you love nursing. I mm-hmm. feel like it makes you really love nursing when you've kind of, I don't know, got a good balance of your personal life and you're able to design your life outside of your career, mm. it makes you a better nurse because you're not just kind of, you're not burnt out. You're yes. not, you're it not, makes you yeah. a more content nurse, definitely. And mm. I mean, what never will change is our work. The patients will remain the same. Yeah. There will yeah. be a challenge, but the people doing it, the people surrounding you, you can make an impact there. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Oh. What was your favourite place? Like, what's your favourite place so far in these 12 years? Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I did learn a lot at the Alfred in Melbourne because mm-hmm. that was a big trauma hospital and I uh, got thrown into the deep end doing anaesthetics. And, yeah. Uh, it was interesting and I learned a lot. Yep. Um, I must say, as a city, Brisbane is my preferred city. Because you met yeah, me. Yeah, we love place. Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's because class met me. <laughs> yeah, we do love Brisbane. We've got a Bre- soft spot. People in, uh, here in South East Queensland are... A little bit more relaxed than yeah. in some of the southern me- metro areas, but yeah. uh, uh, it's it's a great place, and yeah. we've got such a variety of hospitals within twenty k's. Yeah, yeah it's there very is a lot. Actually, mm. I think a lot of places like so. People that are listening to this could be potentially international applicants that want to come over to Australia. Obviously, you've been to so many different areas. I think some of the areas that don't get highlighted enough because everyone just focuses on like Sydney and like Gold Coast, like. 
What about like Adelaide and all those other like smaller regions that kind of people forget about? Like, yes, like or even Canberra. I did yeah, like Canberra. people don't even think uh, of Canberra. Canberra is, is a great place uh, mm. if you want to discover a different part of Australia. Yeah. Mm. And, it's uh, very green, isn't it's, it? It's, yes. And they're, it's very structured. It's very, very structured, structured city. Very <laughs> yes. structured. You do your day trips to Sydney on the weekend because yeah. you know, to escape it. But yeah. it's got a beautiful countryside around. Yeah, it does have beautiful, beautiful wineries around wineries, Canberra. Uh, a high High quality life, really. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, beautiful. What about Adelaide? Adelaide is very good as well. Yeah, lots uh, of wineries too. It's, like, it's much tell. smaller than Brisbane. If you yes. want a really big city, maybe it's not the right thing. Mm-hmm. But um, it's got in each direction something to discover on your... Yeah. So if you work for a year, there's a lot to do there. A lot yeah. to discover. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Love but Canberra, it. for example, that major, the main public hospital has an intake area from the south coast of Victoria all the way up to Wagga Wagga. Wow. And all these country accidents come into that hospital. So it's Yeah, they would too because it's all surrounding it. Lots of farming accidents. Wow. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's one way to upskill, that's for sure. Yeah. So what what is next for you? What is your plan from now? To stay agency for the next 12 years? uh, (laughs) The last, last, uh, mainly the last 11 years, I worked in the the travel insurance industry as well. Mm Uh, in, as a corporate nurse and a repatriation nurse. And uh, so I try to keep that up and uh, still do a bit, bit of flight nursing if it comes up again now that travelling has started again. Yeah, which is so cool because obviously if a job comes up and they call you and they're like, hey, Klaus, can you please go yes, yeah. to the uh, UK on this on this job? You can be like, no props. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can do have a flexible yeah. life. And that's one of the reasons I always stayed with the agency. Yeah. Uh, I can... Easily adapt my shifts if there's a flight job mm-hmm. coming yeah. up. Yeah. I think what's amazing is I was only talking to you a few weeks ago to book in this episode and you were going to the US and you had already gotten all these shifts <laughs> booked in ahead of time yes. and we knew that today was your day off because you were getting a car service. But how incredible is that, that you're going to the US but you've already got all these shifts booked in for mm-hmm. your return home. Yes. Like you, you can do that. You can do that. You can yes. plan ahead. You speak speak to the people who are in charge. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the company is happy to, of course, book as many shifts as possible. Yes. We don't want any shifts to go empty. And, no, uh, not at all. If you talk to them, uh, you can get a good deal out of it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, uh, communication is key. Like, Definitely. obviously, being an agency nurse to the facility, communication is key, but also to your consultant because – if you just say to your consultant, this is what's going on in my life, I would like block booking style mm-hmm. shifts, yeah. I want to work four yeah. days a week, I want to work five days a week, they can actually talk to facilities and you can get, not like a, it's like a contract in a way, yeah. because it's like a verbal thing where they're like, yep, you're going to take this nurse for 30 hours a week, mm-hmm. perfect, for three months, done. It also yes. can not be a verbal yeah. thing, you actually can sign a contract and you, you are can. contracted for three months or however much your time you want to kind of commit to that yeah. facility. So there's so many ways you can do metro nursing yeah. and yeah. A, and rural and remote nursing, there's just oh, sorry, and there's no, even part-time, part-time um, options as well. Yeah. But yeah, this isn't just focused on nursing, like there's obviously yeah, all healthcare. Um, midwifery, there's allied health, there's corporate health, there's AINs, please, doctors, we need AINs. And we need AINs <laughs> as well if you're studying nursing or you're a carer or things like that, like mm-hmm. the, everything that we're talking about right now is exactly the same for that job role. This yeah. type of day-to-day shifts, block bookings, like being able to move from Adelaide to Gold mm-hmm. Coast, like everything that we're talking about actually applies to you guys as well. Yeah. Just so cool. Amazing. And I think you are the best example as well, Chess, because if you work on the ward in ED, in ICU and in theatres, there is more work than you can handle. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the best thing about agency is, is actually I have upskilled – so much in the last five years. Like before starting this, I was just like a little board nurse and I had done some recovery, a little tiny bit of scrub scout. And now I'm in ED, in mm-hmm. corrections. I'm still on the wards. Like I'm doing all these different amazing areas. And yeah. I'm just like, wow, like look at me five from five years ago to now. And that's yeah. all with the help of agency and just communicating with my consultants, actually telling them that I want to learn, um, telling facilities that I want to learn. Like if you, if they know that you want to learn something and they've got a course coming up or they've got something, they're happy to have you on board mm-hmm. to teach you those skills. Yep. And I think uh, agency in general, it makes you such a more skilled nurse because mm. you have to adapt to these little, little quirks every unit has yep. and different policies. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So good. Oh, well, thank you so anything. much for coming on today. <laughs> even like, even I'm inspired, and mm. I'm like doing this podcast. Definitely right very glad I chose this as a career path because yeah. I would not said, want to do anything else. For most people, the fear of not having work is the biggest inhibitor joining yes. an agency. And I always said, if you keep cool and you're the gap filler, there will always be gaps to be filled, and you'll be there ready for those shifts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Love mm-hmm. that. Oh, I'm inspired. I want to do a shift right now. <laughs> I'm well, updating the app right yes. now. If anyone is interested, everyone, anyone who's listening, we do actually have a link below if you want to mm. apply. Um, just go into the show notes and it is right there and you can get into this journey of agency living right this exact minute. Um, <laughs> but stay tuned for further episodes. We're going to be interviewing lots and lots of different people within Healthcare Australia, all different types of healthcare professions, um, just to dive deep into who they are, why they ended up here and how amazing this journey is. So thanks for all joining us today. Thank you and so thanks, much. And thanks, Klaus. Klaus. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> Thank you all. Yeah, thanks. All right. It's-